I, the wanderer, seeking love's satisfaction, writing my story. Oh, man. <laughs> Ain't that it? That's what we're doing, you know. We're writing our story. Our walking, living memoir, huh? Yeah, that's what I see. And it all makes sense in the end. We bring it together, do the best we can, and then ask the question which the I Ching talks about. Why are we here right now? And what is our purpose? Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> We're talking about it, huh? Talking about it. That is the S stuff, huh? Yeah. Well, we're on to it. The I Ching. I Ching for the week of March 19th, 2018. <sighs> yeah. Number 56, Lou, the Wanderer. Mm -hmm. Above his fire, below is the mountain. The wisdom, passion, disassociate from complacency. The wanderer comes home. Hey, that's what we want to do, isn't it? We want to come home. We want to come home. We all share the desire for safety, to feel secure in work and love, and on the journey to expanded consciousness. At this point in planetary evolution, take a moment now to reflect on your efforts to accomplish safety and peace of mind. Looks from the outside like you've done well, yet in the depth of your inner voice of truth, you do not feel this. You're being spurred on by the feeling of a fire Fire burning in your heart, fire burning in the soul. The fire's passion. Yeah. And the work now is to reveal its presence and allow your passion to take you to new heights. Hmm, that's the juice. Herein is the question asking, what is my passion? Where is my passion? Dissatisfaction can be disturbing, yet it's a needed impulse. Dissatisfaction is an impetus that challenges you to deepen your inner knowledge and to find the truth of who you are. What is your purpose? Why have you become incarnated at this moment in time? This hexagram contains a two-part message. First, it says, to look at the truth your inner wisdom has been bringing to the forefront. And with this knowledge, you're being challenged to move into the unknown, into the unfamiliar. While the outer view is looking good and indicates you're free. But when you move to the inner journey, you find through honest and brutal assessment that there are many places where you bartered away your authenticity Giving it up, man. Bartered it for a place, for place, or for gain, or for looking good. Yeah, this is imprisonment. And likely, along with it, you've shielded your heart from being fully able to receive love. Man, you make it look good, you know what I mean? I love you, you love me, but you know what? We're shielding. See, there's a fire on the mountain. You feel its heat, it's time to move. The soul is speaking, and answers lie within. Risk, uh-huh. Risk is your now a vehicle. It's kind of like a magic carpet. That was a magic carpet. <laughs> At this point in your soul's evolution, you see, it's not about choosing the least dangerous path as you're being challenged to take the path that carries the greatest risks. The risk of being fully known. Oh, yeah. And of being loved without condition. You know, if you show yourself, are you going to still be loved? You know, if you get into the down and dirty or the beauty and the heights, 
Will somebody still love you, you know? Are you going to scare them away? Are they going to feel sorry for you? You know, what is it? Just what is it? That's something that we got to look at. And that's important to look at at this moment, you see. Being loved without condition, this is the road of the goddess. This is the road of the hero. It's this place where you're recognizing that the heat you're feeling burning inside, causing your mind to spin and causing your heart to race. Time to move off your position of safety and complacency and take the leap, no matter how dangerous it may seem. You know, you've done well. You've feathered the nest pretty well. You know, you're in a comfort zone. And you know something is missing. The missing piece is waiting for you, concealed in the unknown. Going on an inner journey of discovery is best accomplished by moving away from the familiar. It's hard to break old patterns and to see things with a fresh perspective. If you allow yourself to settle into the same old familiar groove, you won't see it. The groove becomes like a canyon. You can't see out. All the good work you've done has led to this time. So shout hallelujah. The time of the quest. The time of the quest to be caring for the soul. That's where we've come to. The quest is of the most ancient of tribal rituals. One of the deepest. We, have, we see the quest to find a teacher, a sage. There's the vision quest. Find out who are we with, who's with us, and the quest for mindfulness. And there's the quest for love. If you choose to avoid the time of the quest, you'll repeat the same old patterns that have not worked out very well when you've pushed old patterns too far. You can make it look good, man, but, you know, when you know the truth, that battle in the heart, that fight between the black dog and the white dog, you know, where do you go? The act of traveling. Now, we're talking about not virtual, but real traveling. Traveling is a vital component to arriving at realizations that await you. It might be just a day trip, you know. It might be just a getaway that takes a day or maybe more. The more important thing is that you go. You go someplace that's unfamiliar. This is instruction. Pay attention. Go somewhere you've never been or a place you don't know very well, a place where you can see with new eyes. It's in the unknown territory that you can clear your mind and quiet the voice of doubt. Here you will gain access to an expanded vision of the soul's journey. On the road less traveled is where you will be able to find the clarity that will allow you to gain the knowledge of what has been lacking in your life and what has been the lie you bought into a long time ago. The lie that's held you back from your bliss, held you back from expanding to bliss consciousness. The wanderer, <laughs> when the wanderer appears, it signifies that these are dynamic times of transformation. You know it. In this place, you see what you have desired is not only within reach, it's moving towards you just as you move toward it. At this point, you don't have to try to achieve your goal. You just need to make yourself still, make yourself ready. Come to the place where you listen and the place where you can receive. It's already there. It's waiting for you. You just gotta take the time, be mindful, peel away the layers. What allows you to be ready is contained in the instructions given in this hexagram. Reaching for your inner fire. Reaching for your passion. Step away from the familiar so you can think more clearly and in a different way. Yeah, I dig it. This, this means to let go of all the familiar patterns. The stuff you've been doing, the way you've been doing business, the way you've been in relationships, the way you've been in friendship. Uh-huh. It's fed you, but just a part of you. And you've not truly touched your sacred core. When you choose this journey, 
ego will try to convince you, hey man, things are cool, everything's fine, things are good enough, you know, don't take these risks, what's wrong with you? Well, you know in your heart of hearts, man, they are not good enough, this is not good enough, and that you deserve more, man, because you've done your time, you've worked it, right? Man, all the poses you had to do, whew, you've had to, you've done it, so now's the time. Come to the journey, the journey of caring for the soul, the place we hear the inner sage. It's not a holiday excursion, it's not an escape. Its purpose is to call on your inner fire, your passion, your passion for life, which will supply you with all the fuel you need on this road less traveled, this road where you are to remember who you are. And this remembering is enlightenment. It's that simple. Enlightenment is remembering who you are. Uh huh. The return to innocence. Ooh. The return to innocence. In practice, following these instructions, it's not difficult. It's summoning the courage to take the initial risk. That's the hardest part, the first step. After that, all falls into place and you will be free. It's that easy, you see. And you're gonna be turned on. Ooh, turned on by your passion. And you're gonna attract others to situations of like passion, right? You know, right now, our tribes here on planet Earth needs clarity and needs your clarity and passion for the truth. Now as never before, as the world too is in transition, we are a reflection. Take the risk as warriors of consciousness and of truth-telling. This is the responsibility of all sentient beings. You are the one you've been waiting for. Move with integrity. Move with dignity. Move with compassion. Move with kindness. Love, hmm, love without bounds. Love is the answer. Love is the master elixir. More love, less pain. Take the risk, jump in, take a trip. <laughs> you know what I mean? Take a trip. I, the wanderer, seeking love satisfaction, Writing my story, that's all I'm doing. I'm not getting in your face, I'm just writing my story. <laughs> well, that's it. That's for it for the I Ching for the week of March 19th. Powerful, powerful time. Sing, dance, and be joyous. Don't wait for somebody to ask you to make love. Grab them. <laughs> Whether well, it's a great, great hug, you know. Take into this idea about how beautiful a hug is, a real hug, where you're giving it, you know, you're not holding back. Not that a hug has to lead to sex or anything like that, because it's a, a hug among just people, friends, and it can be in your relationships. But man, that's hooking energies up. You know, there was a time that we could see each other's aura. Mm. If you look at the old paintings that have the uh, See the halo on there. That's the last vestiges of us being able to see the aura around people. And making love, love satisfaction, making love was combining these energy fields. And it wasn't about the reproductive act, although that came along, but it was just combining this and feeling someone else's love and being there. Being held, being seen, and being heard, right? And of course, to be heard, you gotta listen. So man, shut up and listen. I send you great love from here, beautiful day in the Caribbean. On the 20th parallel, I'm gonna be traveling. It looks like I'm going to California. So I'll let you know, um, that's coming up. I am uh, doing the final three classes here in uh, Tulum. At the bottom of the text, you'll see where, when, and I'd love for you to attend. It's that series of seven for the course on the seven wings of the soul.
So for you now in this time, come to that place within yourself where you can see clearly and you can feel love and feel it all around you. Walk in the moonlight. Love the one you're with. And if you're alone, you know what to do. Love yourself. Namaste, my sisters. Namaste, my dear, dear challenged brothers. In la kesha la kin. I am the other you. And I like it that way. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. I want to give a shout out to the groups that gather every week on Sunday to listen together and to talk about that week's I Ching. It's happening in Hawaii. It's happening in Los Angeles, New York, Canada, Germany, London. Happening around the world. So I stretch and send my arms in love around the world. Namaste. May your wings be lifted and the wind beneath you be strong and hold you in the hands of her. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen.